Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at uploading artwork to Sachi Art. If you haven't already, go on to the Sachi Art website and log in. Once you've logged in, you'll see your name here, and you can simply go down to the Upload button. So click on that, and it's going to bring you to this screen here. So first you're just going to enter, enter your title. So mine is just Peggy's Cove Lighthouse. You can hit submit and continue. Here's when you're going to upload your main image that is going to be used um, to display on the website and also to make prints out of. So they give you some parameters there. So I'm going to hit upload there and then it'll take you to um, just your finder area where you can look for your image. Once you found it, just hit submit there and it'll upload it for you. Once you're done, then it'll allow you to change the thumbnail. It's just a square, so for this one, I'm gonna leave it with the lighthouse in the middle there. Hit submit and continue. Then it asks you if you're the copyright owner. Hopefully you are. If you are, hit yes, and continue on from there. All right, so this, technically it's mixed media. They don't really have mixed media, but it is a painting on top, so I'm gonna select Painting as my category, subject. Um, because of the lighthouse, I'm going to say it is more of a seascape category or subject. You can look through all the subjects. There's quite a few there. And the year, I produced this one in 2020. So it is uh, a couple years old here. I used acrylic paint. You can choose the different mediums you can see there that are available for you. And this one is done on wood, but you can see the different materials there as well. Styles, it, they give you a range of styles, but you can also add your own. And so for me, this is kind of impressionism. Some people have also called it geometric, so I'm gonna add that in there. And those are the two I'm going to use for, for this one. And then your dimensions. So my width of this one is 11 inches by 7.5 inches, and my depth is 0 0.75. You can change it to centimeters if you like as well. And here's where you can enter 5 to 12 keywords. So this helps people, when they're searching for artworks, um, see yours. So it says there you can use um, key visual elements of your work, like I'm going to use lighthouse, things of color. So I'm going to go blue. Uh, subject matter, um, it borders on the Atlantic Ocean, um, it's in the Maritimes, it's in Nova Scotia, Canada. Sometimes I put color pop on there. You could go even go blue sky, rocky shore. And you can get, do up to 12, so try to get as many as you can there. And I need one more, so I'll just add in ocean. There we go. So now I've reached my 12. And now you can enter in a description. So they, they give you some tips here, kind of like what, who inspired the work, what do you hope its viewers will feel or think, and why did you choose this medium subject matter or style. So since I've added this one to my website already, I'm just going to pop over to my website quick and I'm going to copy and paste my description there and um, that kind of goes through everything there once you've got all that in you can hit submit and you are good to good to go on to step three step three you can see above here is price and details so you here you can say it's not for sale but you can still display your work but this one is for sale it is one of a kind. It's not multi-paneled. It comes with the hardware, to, so it's ready to hang. It's not framed. I ship these in boxes, and they're really light. They're honestly like maybe one pound, maybe two pounds. If you want to be safe, you can measure it. So I'll submit that and continue. Here's where you can choose your shipping address. I'm just gonna blur it out so my address and phone number isn't available to everybody. But here you can put in where it's coming from. And this is important because this helps them calculate the shipping that the customer is going to pay. So make sure you input this uh, correctly here. And then your price. Um, so the price is in USD, US dollars. 
and it tells you right there your commission and since I'm Canadian it tells me the, the Canadian in brackets there and it shows the listed price that someone would see plus the shipping and the handling which is nice and handy. Once you're done that then you hit save and continue. And if you want to allow prints to be made, just hit for sale. Don't be confused, This, the original stuff is done. This is just prints now. And if you want to allow open edition prints, you can crop it there. Once you've cropped it to the right spot, hit submit and continue. Choose the types of prints that you want it to be made onto and the canvas wrap color. Canvas wrap means like on the borders of the canvas, what colors are gonna be. I like it to be black, so I'm gonna leave it there. Then here's where you can set your profits. Here you can see the price and the commission. Commission means how much you're making off a print that size. And the, the baseline price for an 8x12 fine art paper, you get 1483 USD and you can go all the way up to 53. Um, but I usually leave it um, right around the $20 mark for, or sorry, the for, just under the $20 mark for commission, about 45 for that and 150 for the largest one. And once you've done that, hit submit and save and exit. And here it's gonna show you what you've just done basically. It shows you the image, all your subject, category, year, all the way down here. An important point at the very bottom of this page though is here you can upload more images that will show for the buyer to see. And so I'm going to add in showing the back of the artwork. Once you've got your images uploaded there, then you can just hit save. And then those ones will show up on your listing for people to be able to check out as well. And that's it. We have now uploaded an artwork onto Sachi Art. And if you want to see it, you can go to um, your artworks. And there you go. It's right up there. First thing for, for you to see. So thank you for joining me here today. I hope this helped. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below or send me a message. I am more than happy to help. And we'll see you next time on Brian Sloan Artist.